Okay, so hello, welcome to my channel and I'm going to show you or give you a tutorial on how to draw male anime. Other people start with the circle but I don't start with the circle. I do the eyes first. I highly recommend you to do the eyes first because uh, sometimes if you use guidelines or just like the circle thingy, your uh, uh, it's, it will be hard for you to draw the eyes so I recommend you to start with the eyes first. So since this is an anime guy, the eyes should look serious or cool because yes that's uh that's the anime style. If you're going to draw a male, the eyes should be sharp. So it looks serious and cool. So yes, do that. The eyes should be looking sharp. If you want a lesser looking serious guy, you can make it a bit circular. Not too circular, but just the right shape. Maybe I'm gonna make another video for that. After doing the first eye, uh, I'm going to do the second eye, so if you start off with the eyes first, it will be much more easier to draw the other eye cause if you if you did the circle thingy, the guideline thingy, it will be much more harder to do that. Cause maybe it will not fit or the eyes will be more bigger making it look a bit not balanced so yes just like what i said earlier always start off with the eyes before doing anything else just the eyes first don't don't use the circular circle guideline because that's the one that makes the art a bit not balanced well it's your choice if you want to use uh if you want to use the guidelines you can you can use it it's your choice but for me it's uh it's better to use the it's better to do the eyes first after doing both of the eyes i start off with the jawline when jawline is uh almost at the hair area that's where i start doing the hair remember this if you're drawing anime boy an anime boy or anime guy the hair should be sharp unless if you want a curly haired anime guy you can just make it a bit wiggly curly yeah doing anime hair um doing the anime hairstyle thing um they're usually sharp when it comes to boys they always have this fly hair over yeah you know those wiggly hair stuff those kind of things and after doing the hair and i've finished the jawline uh i'm gonna do the neck so if you want more masculine guy you can just make the, le the neck bigger or longer it's your choice if you want a a bit cuter one a cute boy a cute anime boy you can make the neck a bit smaller so yes okay so an anime guy's nose is just like an exclamation point. Yeah, exclamation point. For me, it looks like that. It's like this long, a bit long line. After dot, after that, it's just a dot. Just add a dot on it. So yes, it's that how easy to draw an anime nose for boys. Uh, if you want it a bit more detailed, you can just add shadow. want it a bit more detailed you can just add shadows on the side of the nose or uh, depends on the lighting 
Okay, so the top is done. So after doing the top, uh, where you're finished at the hair, the jawline, the face, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the neck. Uh, of course, the next thing to do is the clotting. Okay, if you think if you think that your drawing is a bit boring, just like mine, you can just add a ball pen on it. Um, just add some ball point. You can use blue ball pen, purple ball pen, pink ball pen, any kind of ball pen you want. Well, I just saw that idea from somewhere in Pinterest. I just saw this guy who drew an anime character. Well, he added some ball. So yes, adding ballpoint to your drawing makes it a bit look more nice. If you think your drawing is a bit boring, you can just add ball pen. Yeah, just add some ink. Uh, yeah. So since you've finished the drawing, where the ballpoint is there, everything is there, the sketch is done, um, voila, there you have it, you finally drew an anime guy.